city of Norfolk is always working on ways to decrease flooding. 10 on your side's Kara Dixon has more on how this Earth Day weekend they're teaming up by using one of their projects to be more environmentally friendly. The city and one local organization is pushing to make sure the corner here at 26 and church can be an example of how resilient the community could be. And nestled at the busy intersection in this urban jungle is a spot of green. So we are growing lots of food. It's the Eggleston Urban Farm, which Margaret Epps oversees. We're starting off with just this one plot here, and we've got long-term goals to um, get the soil right on the other side and use it more for uh, vegetable production as well. They're getting ready for volunteers to come out this weekend so they can install big rain barrels here. Right now we are putting up a water catchment system for uh, the rainwater that's going to come off the roof of Meineke. Mark Stevens also works with Eggleston. That water he's talking about will help these plants grow. For every inch of rain on the building, it would provide about 2,500 to 3,000 gallons. Uh, we should be able to capture about 25% of that. If you type in an address, it will tell you how much rainwater runoff your property produces in bathtubs. Katie White with the City of Norfolk helped make this possible for Eggleston. The city gave the organization a grant through their Retain Your Rain program. Rain barrels, rain gardens, even just planting trees helps um, absorb some rainwater and keep it out of our streets and out of our stormwater system. It's killing two birds with one stone for the city, keeping it beautiful while reducing that problematic flooding. It's something they believe can help make Norfolk a coastal city for the future. Projects are small, but they do help reduce uh, nuisance flooding. So if we attack it at all levels, I do think that we'll be able to get in front of the problem. It's the big community. Everybody gets to be happy and work hard together for a good cause. And if you'd like to help them out tomorrow, they'll be out here bright and early at 9 a.m. Reporting in Norfolk, Care Dixon, 10 on your side.